Hi, my name's Adam. I'm 27 years old and I live in Dearborn, Michigan. I'm an environment artist for an independent video game company named Infinitap, and we just released our first game called Never Any Nightmares. I also run a small silicone ma mask business called The Murder Forge. You are about to see the creature from the planet of the aliens. Alright, this is the concept stage. Now, the idea for this came, you know, there's been a lot of ancient alien talk on TV lately, and I actually think it's a pretty interesting idea. And so, I'm designing an alien creature who came to Earth in the ancient past to shape humanity and guide it towards civilization. Uh, but the twist is their ulterior motive was to get us to mine fossil fuels and create global warming so that they can move in and take over the planet when it's ready for them. Um, so this is into the sculpture phase. It's going to be a two-piece makeup, the face and then a cowl. You can see we're getting closer to the final product. Here is the final sculpt. It's right before the mold making phase, which is going to be coming up next. And here I have the water clay dividing walls ready for the plaster. And here's the first layer of UltraCal 30. It's a really hard cement-like plaster. It's really good for molds like this. And I like to brush the first layer on to really get the detail. And here's one half of the cow mold built up. Here's the second half ready to go. And here is the end stage of the molding process. I'm adding uh, burlap bandages soaked in the plaster. And that really bulks it out, adds strength. Uh, here's the finished foam latex pieces. They came out pretty decent. There was just a little bit of patchwork on the cowl that I had to do before I applied it. And this is Dane, my good friend. Uh, he was brave enough to volunteer for this process. And uh, he was a trooper. He put up with it well. It was a lot to ask. Uh, here is just the dry fit of the cowl, just to make sure everything's going to line up and fit properly before I actually start getting glue all over them. Uh, usually you want to measure twice, cut once kind of thing. And here I am starting the actual application. I'm using spirit gum as the adhesive. I didn't really want to use anything a lot stronger than that because, you know, Dane's got a job and he has to go to work. He doesn't want this on his face forever. A little bit more glue. Make sure everything's down pretty well. I did have a little bit of issue with the foam latex. I used a brush with some water when I was mixing it and it curdled at something weird so that you can see on the back it's kind of weird but the front came out fine and that's really all that matters and now once the eyes and the mouth and the nose are secured I can go ahead and glue down the edges of the facial appliance just make sure everything's nice and tight and that he can still breathe and get good facial movement uh, here I'm applying latex to blend the seams in. And then now the first bait coat, base coat. I went with kind of a, a blue, otherworldly color. Figured that was appropriate for an alien creature. Now I brushed the base coat on just to get it a nice, you know, proper coverage. And after the base coat has set up a little bit, I can go in and add some flex, and this is just to break up the base tone. It's the subtle natural variations that are evident in you know any living thing, even aliens. And then I can go back in and add some modeling and some veining with a darker blue with the airbrush. Again, to further break up the forms, give it some depth. And for the shading, I actually used an orangish color, and that's because orange is the complementary color to blue, and it really adds a lot of depth and vibrancy to the blue color that's there. Now I'm just adding a, a darker version of that to really pop you know, the dark areas that need that definition. You know, up along the brow and the eye sockets, along the cheeks. And then after the highlights and the shading, I can add, you know, another coat of the blue to really bring everything together. 
And then a final light highlight is, you know, really the finishing touches. And with that, the makeup is completed. Just a quick costume. It was a piece of a vacuum cleaner tube and a toga costume. Uh, completes the makeup. And I'm quite happy with the end result. Thanks again to Dane and my brother Joe for helping out with this whole whole enterprise. It ended up going till about 4 in the morning. And uh, they stuck with it the whole time. Didn't complain too much. Could not have done it without their help. This is the perfect selfie. All right, well, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks.